So it reminds me of this great scholar, sage of his age, Hudayl ibn Iyad rahimahullah ta'ala. Before he became a pious person, subhanallah, he was a dacoit, he was a thief, burglar, highwayman. So he used to be stealing people's wealth, he used to burgle people's house. So one particular night, he was scaling the wall of this particular house, he wanted to go and meet, meet his uh, mistress. So this person who was in the house, he was performing his tahajjud salah. And Allahu Akbar, when Allah wants to change someone, Allah makes amazing means so he was on top of the roof and this person was performing his tahajjud and he was reciting this particular verse hasn't the time come for the believers to humble allah is addressing you and me every single one so this when he heard this hit him like a rock he immediately knelt down onto the ground and he said Bala ya Rabbi qad hana wa qad ana. the time has come oh my lord and the time is now <coughs> my brother my sister we need to ask this question that when is the time going to come and when am i going to make, make that change we always promise to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we raise our hands that the ramadan has come and we're going to change our life. Ramadan finishes back to square one. We go for Umrah, we go for Hajj, and we say, we pray in front of the Kaaba, we cry, and we say we're going to transform our lives when we come back to UK, back to square one. Same thing, that five times a day Salah that we perform in the whole month of Ramadan, from the day of Eid, it goes back to square one. I was just speaking to the Musalli, the people in our local masjid, the Wakulia, and I said, look, you know, we've been coming for Fajr Salah here for the last 35 years, so it's been always one row and still one row after 35 years. We haven't increased a single Musalli. In fact, we have decreased. So what is happening is that Sayyid Ataullah Shah Bukhari Rahimahullah Ta'ala, great orator, one of the great scholars of his time, a very good lecturer. So he says, I've been giving azan in the Qabrstan, in the graveyard for 30 years, nobody woke up. So this is what's happening to each and every one of us. We listen to so many lectures, what is happening? Nothing is changing. Because we're coming with the wrong intention. We're coming, okay, I'll come, I heard this scholar is good, or he makes a joke, or he does this, he does that. So our intention is not right. We need to, first of all, make this firm intention. We are seated here, we're going to make a change. Whatever we listen, we're going to start to put that into practice. Then you will see the change in the life. Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusim. Allah doesn't change a nation until you don't change yourself.